Hey YouTube, call sign Mustang here. Call sign Rockstar. Alright, we're going to do a very informative video on ramen and why we think it is bad for the bug out bag. And you guys are lucky enough because Must Rockstar here is going to do a little demonstration on ramen and why it's bad. So pay attention and I'm going to turn it over to Rockstar. Alright YouTube, listen up. I've been watching some of, uh, some of our viewers' profile or uh, videos and stuff like that, some other people's videos and... They're um, consolidating all our material. They're, they're piecing together bug out bags. Um, a common trend that I'm seeing uh, with food is people putting ramen noodles in their bug out bag. I'm not saying that ramen noodles aren't nutritionists and all this other crap, which they really aren't. 190 calories for a little bit of noodles. However, um, the problems I see with uh, ramen noodles for in your bug out bag. And remember, it's just for the bug out bag. Yeah, just so for the bug out bag. ramen lovers out there, calm down. All right. So, real life situation. You're bugging out. You're not going to be freaking taking the little nature hike through the trail. Everything's all great and getting your scenic views and all this other crap, all right? You're talking about real life situation. You're going to be running, whatever the case may be. You know, you might be throwing your bug out bag on the ground in and out of your vehicle constantly. So... Let's look at these ramen noodles, all right? Our package right here is very thin. So obviously these ramen noodles aren't sealed very well at all. So real life test, these things are gonna be put through the test constantly. They're gonna be taking a beating. On top of taking a beating, you guys don't know how to properly waterproof your stuff. So now we got the elements involved. You know, we're still taking our little beating. We're gonna sit here and do this number just a little bit more, just so you got the idea, all right? Now, <clears throat> since you didn't properly waterproof your stuff or even seal your food at all, we're going to expose it to a little bit of rain. Just a little bit of rain, not too much, just like it was in your bug out bag. All right, that's about a couple hours worth of rain. So, already I got water pouring out of my ramen noodles. So, now that it's rain and everything's all dry or whatever, you decide that you want to have a meal. But for the last couple hours, you've been sitting on top of wet ramen noodles. So, say you have 10 packets of ramen noodles in your bug out bag because they're light and they're cheap and you don't want to go out and buy anything uh, worth anything. Now you have a spoiled food that is all over the inside of your bug out bag. So, on that point, we can still use ramen noodles for our bug out bag. However, there's different ways to go about it. I'm going to turn it over to a uh, Mustang over here and he's going to tell us our alternative for this. All right. For those of you who do not know, ramen does expire, and it does not, does not have a very long shelf life. 9 to 12 months, tops under the best conditions. Cool, dry place, out of the elements, away from critters, mice, whatever they can get into these. Very thin, that's what you left out. What if you left, what if you had a pack in your basement, okay? Just ramen noodles like this. And you're switching out your bug out bag, you're switching out your food, and that's fine, but little critters get into it. Now when you go to open up your ramen on your trip, on your little fairy trip, which you think, which it's not, you're going to have bugs in your meal. So there you go. Ramen does expire, one, okay? 9 to 12 month shelf life. What spoils in ramen is the fats that they're cooked in. Obviously they're cooked. These are already been cooked. They've been fried in fat. Not only that, but the little flavoring pouch also has ingredients in it that will spoil. So, ramen does, ex does spoil, okay? The fatty acids, whatever it's cooked in, is what will go bad. Perfect way, take it out of this crappy, crappy packaging and put it in Mylar bag. Some oxygen absorbers and this might be... A little bit longer. Not saying it's gonna five years, no. I mean my lower bags are great. We're gonna get in a video about that as well. But basic thing is they will expire, cheap packaging, they will bust in your bug out bag, they will spoil. So take them out of this crappy stuff, put it in a mylar bag, throw some oxygen absorbers in it, and you can pile a bunch of these bags into one mylar bag that's way more durable than this. So just a short little informative video on you that these are crappy. Get rid of them. Okay? Anything you want to add? One other option, if you can't get your Mylar bags or you don't want to afford those and you have something at home like a, a food sealer for uh, sealing uh, um, frozen foods, etc., 
stuff like that. You can try sealing them up in a heavy duty plastic, and uh, yep. <clears throat> that could work just as well. Yep. So, I guess that, that wraps it up. Yeah, uh, it does. Definitely, I'm sure we're gonna get a lot of comments on this. Um, let us know what you think. Let us know if you have any other ideas on how to better ramen. Because the way they come, it's crap. Plain and simple. Get rid that's of it. A, yep, that's our opinion. It. Take it or leave it. Don't forget, subscribe, comment, like our videos. Hit us up. Let us know. Yeah, let us know what else you think uh, we can possibly do a review on. Any trends that you see, um, anything, throw it our way. We'll see what we can do about it. Right. But uh, this is Rockstar. And this is Mustang. Spin it out. Take it easy, YouTube.